It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. Boom. Welcome to another show of Dad's Lads and Fabs. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to this week's show. Starting at episode 101. <gasps> 101. 101, motherfuckers. It's the 101 Club. Yeah. Welcome. Nikki, how you doing, boy? What's happening? I'm a tired motherfucker. I have oh, had mate. two of the hardest fucking days at work I've had for many, many years. It's like constantly being on weight machines at the gym and they're not stopping. My back and feet are so sore I've, since, from the last two days of work. My back, take my neck to take my booty shake from left to the right. <laughs> it's full of it's full of fucking song lyrics tonight, people. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's the beauty of working. You know, you've been to work. Me, I, I'm I, just all day. I, I am doing man job, man build fire, man lift man. shit, man put yeah. people in ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, you're not. Yeah. You're not a contract killer, mate. <laughs> I am. I'm helping them for their final resting place, Niall. But life one day, is... all of us, all of us will be one day. Yes. Well, we you will. won't be. You'll be in an ashtray. Why? Why would I be in an ashtray? That... You know what I mean. You'll be ashes. Oh yeah. As since you since you've done what you've been doing, yeah. Have you thought more about it? Of what you want has your opinion changed yes because i used to want cremation yeah and yeah. just scatter me somewhere wherever but since doing this job and obviously over the years going to cemeteries and filming and taking pictures of blah 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 blah, blah i think fuck it i want somewhere for someone to remember me i want people to come and say oh there's mickey <laughs> i knew him <laughs> do you know do you know how much it cost do you know I don't know. No, is it expensive? It, it can be. I know a head a headstone is very expensive. A headstone is like thousands, like four grand or something, because it's normally solid marble, or whatever. Yeah, but whatever made you one? Actually, the other day we I saw an interesting grave like headstone, and it was made of like three bits of two by four. It looked really good until I got up close. Because I thought, oh, that looks well good. It looks like all wood effect and their names and and everything. It looked really good, but it looks like someone just put one there <laughs> of their own accord. And but what if I, what have you got like a slab, a slab, let's say, and you chiselled it and made it into the shape, you know, the oval shape, and I then just got a metal plaque and just super glued it on. <laughs> You are not allowed to put up your own uh, headstones. There's always a clause. Apparently, yeah. There's always a clause. Yeah, you're allowed the cross that you initially get when you get... The buried. pauper cross. The, the yeah, wooden with, pauper cross. Yeah, with the little gold plaque on it with the name and stuff. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah, but that, see, you've, got, you've got them for at least a year anyway. Oh, that so you is... have to wait. Is there a backlog of, like, stones? Do you no, because the ground sinks. Like, we've had funerals, and within a couple of days, the earth has sunk, and it's been, like, I don't know, at least two foot above with soil, and the ground just, like, resettles, and it, it does that a few, three or four times in the first maybe six months. I'd say. And, You're yeah, such a pro. Families come to visit and they say, "Oh, can you go sort that grave out? It's dropped." Blah blah blah. I said, "Yep." At some point, <laughs> we are busy. When we get around to it, we've just already, having a nap. <laughs> we've already had three funerals this week already. So like, well, wow. we've, got, we've got another 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 one tomorrow. At least we, March is fucking rammed. It's like constantly. We had to dig two today. And have one. It's like, fuck, it's so tiring. and But it's good. I I fucking, I would not change it for the fucking world. I love, I come home thinking, I love my fucking job, man. And good. very few and people can say that. Very few say that, trust me. 
trust me, very few say that. Like, I, you know, love my job. What, what are you drinking? Oh, he's on the old piss again, isn't he? What am I drinking? You he's said on... it every other week. Because it looks like it looks like a cup of cold piss. <laughs> you said it was beer okay. every week. <laughs> Cup of cold piss now, mate. <laughs> yeah, have you ever drunk piss by mistake? No. Like, like has someone pissed on you or no? Pissed in a cup and say, "Oh yeah, at a party or something." No. <laughs> <laughs> just asking. You see it in the films and they do it. <laughs> I just, I, I just wondered. You know. What, what kind of what kind of films have you been watching, Mickey? <laughs> uh, American Pie, probably. Road trip, dumb and dumb. Oh, oh my god! See what I mean? The day the best. American Pie is just one of the best. When when I look back at that kind of era, do you remember? So for me, the era of American Pie, Road Trip, Road trip the yeah. screen screen movies, that sort of American high school era. That would have been obviously back then when that was out. I was probably like nine, ten. I would have liked to have been in my late teens, in that era. I was, yeah. That was... Yeah, you was. Like, 96 onwards, I'd say. 96, yeah. 96, 97. Those sort of films. And they had sort of the same sort of people in them. And they were all high, sc- high school films, but they were like 30-year-old actors. And we didn't even realise, oh my God, look, they're, they're so young. But it's not. And we were all fooled. How stupid do we look now? You know? Exactly. Exactly. Perfect <laughs> era, though. Oh, yeah, brilliant right. for films. And, oh, yeah, I love the 80s. Eight, no, 90s. 90s. Late, mid Yeah, mid-90s were cool. 90s was a very good decade for music and films, I think. Back when women used to use moose and of all the curls in their head. Yeah, used to get a... And used to curl them after watching it. Yeah. And the massive hoop, hoop earrings. earrings. Yeah, Pat Butcher. Oh, mate. Those were the days. Yeah. Now we just have weirdos. <laughs> Can you imagine if you was invited... Talk about... If, if you was invited out on a night out now, you wouldn't know what to wear. You'd probably what? still wear kickers. You'd still wear kickers and a kickers jumper. <laughs> I wish I had kickers. They're fucking awesome. <laughs> I wear my crocs. <laughs> yeah. You can't. You can't. Went, you know, you'd fit in, actually. You'd fit in. I went shopping earlier today, this evening... Um, in my Crocs because my feet are so fucking tender underneath from wearing my boots. I fucking love Crocs. It's just so, they're so comfy and yeah, they're so free and they're just, oh, yeah, everybody buy some Crocs. I'm in, I'm in my slippers all the time back now. I know yeah, I'm old because exactly. I'm in my slippers. Would you ever go lot. shopping in your slippers? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Like okay. shop, big shop, whatever. Yeah, I'll do it, yeah. Yeah. I draw. I, I'd, I do like a long distance drive in my slippers. I because I'm like last year. I wore, my, I wore my Crocs to work, and someone said, "Oh, you're not supposed to fucking wear them in the car because they're they're technically flip flops." And I said, "No." no. I said, "They've Put got four wheel drive. They got sport mode." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> appar- apparently, if they've got a back, technically has a back, doesn't it? Then they, I thought you meant to work. Flip-flop. Like no, no, no. You- it was, it was a weekend and no fucker was there, so it was alright. And it was one of the, the really hot um, weekends, so I thought, fuck it, I just wear my Crocs. And bright exactly. yellow Crocs. Yeah. Especially when that heat comes, you don't want to wear anything. No, but just wearing Crocs is a bit bad for work. You get arrested. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> if it's breezy, let it let it flow. <laughs> it's freezy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, Mickey, what have you got for me this week, then, boys? I went got around to you yet. What have you been doing? You forget yourself, selfish. Oh, oh it's, it's not about me. It's about the people. It's not about me. You asked me what I've I been... did, obviously. People want to know what shit we've been up to, because that's why we listen. Why they're listening, because we do, we do weird stuff. True. I mean, we don't. We don't. What have we been doing this week? I do. I've been, oh, I've been work. I've been working loads this week. Do you know one of those weeks when you really care about your job? It's been this week. I've done a lot. Why you been naughty? No, no. Just been doing a lot of work. I just found myself working a lot. Just yeah. too much. Yeah, your fingers but must you be. Told sore. you. Care about 
Not that much. <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> um, no. So I've just been working a lot. What else have I been doing? Went out, some, went out my stitches out yesterday. Oh, yeah. Because your operation. Yeah. An operation. Had yeah, my stitches out like, his, like a big his, boy. His penis is moving normally again. It's like it. Still flaccid. Boots on. You've got to wait about four months for that, I think, to start getting hard again. <sighs> Need a little bit more blood pressure first. Pump so yeah, when I when are my stitches out? Oh god, I don't know. Mother's Day's coming up. Well, um, technically it's already gone. But yeah. It's gone. Gone. Sorry people. It hasn't happened yet. This is not pre recorded. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, um, Mother's Day was good, wasn't it? It was, shout out, yeah. Shout out to all the mums. You do an amazing job. Clap everybody. Yeah. Do you remember clap for do you remember clap for carers? Yeah, I did that when I was at work. Standing in the street like a twat. With a pan? <laughs> no, I was just clapping and look, watching everyone else with their horns on their cars. Did you see did you see the T V show about um it's called Breathtaking? Breathtaking, yes. yeah, I T V. No, I haven't watched it yet. I will do. Apparently everyone's oh. crying about it. Because it's really upsetting and emotional. Brought back memories of it, things that happened to them during that time. It brought back memories for me of the conspiracy theories of saying hospitals are dead, no one's in hospitals. I remember all that propaganda. Yeah, out I there. remember Nightingale Hospital was empty in London. Well, that didn't, that never got used, did it? So yeah, but they built but, it. Yeah, I, I can't wait for years to come when they start talking about COVID like a whole conspiracy. Oh yeah, sorry about that. We fucked up. Blame Boris. Oh, we fucked. <laughs> but it's a really, really good TV show that just gives you a proper insight to what you thought you knew when you knew nothing. Yeah. And how the staff members were literally just dropping like flies. Oh, because for me, actually. when the original COVID, do you remember the? Do you remember like the street footage of Wuhan, and there were like people collapsing in the street. Mm-hmm. And he was like, what the fuck is going on here? But yeah, it's a really, really good insight. I've been watching loads of TV, actually. A couple of, t- couple of TV shows that obviously I will discuss because I've just been binging TV. Pray tell. So I watched that, and then I watch. I watched a TV show called Under the Flowers of Heaven. Now, this is worth a watch. That's This is also on ITV, also on Disney+. Plus. So it's about um, a community. It's a religious community in America called the Latter Day Saints (LDS). Right. Like proper. Re- I don't want to say the word cult because that's terrible. You shouldn't say the word cult. You can't say that. You can. <laughs> okay. Fuck them. So, <laughs> do you know like 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 Mormons? Mormons. They are Mormons. Right. Okay. So like a, a Mormon, Mormon community. And basically, it's about Mormons. More, oh, Mormons? We said more mums. Sorry. More, I mean, there's lots of more mums communities out there. There's loads. <laughs> there's loads of it. There's loads of videos on it as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there is. <laughs> However, so it's about, yeah, Mormon community. It's about a murder that happens in the community and this fucked mm. up family. But basically, I didn't realise how big these... I went and did some research afterwards. You know what I'm like? There's also a documentary on it on Netflix called Keep Sweet. Oh, I think I've seen that advertised. Didn't know what it was about. Yeah. Okay. Again, it's about basically where in this in this in this religion they used to practice something called I'm going to say it wrong polygamy. Okay. And it's and what where, does that it's mean? Where, it's where in the Mormon community where basically men can have multiple wives. Oh uh, yes, yes. You're a poly- poly- polygamist, yeah. Polygamist. Polygamist, yeah. It's where they have multiple wives, but it was like, this was like old, way back when. But yeah, they were still trying to practice it in the early 2000s. And it was like outdated. And people were like, no, no, these are, these are like the traditional ways. And there were people just basically like, no, it's not happening. Like, you're not fucking doing it. But it's a really, really good, really good show. However, you find out about these this thing called the La- they're called the Latter Day Saints, massive community. 
really interesting. Really quite nice people, actually. Until, you know, they're trying to marry 16 people. Then... That's like the, the Amish people, aren't they? Is it that sort similar, of... Similar. Similar vibe, yeah. Community, and they have their own rules and police and... They've got everything of their own. Hospital and doctors and that. Like, they, they source everything of their own. They're, they've got nothing to do with the outside world. Okay. In terms of their reality, like, everything's about their community and what they do. Kind of like the Jesus Army here. Jesus Army nickel your money. Exactly. Yeah, they were, they all got arrested, didn't they? They had, they were, yeah, they had some, some bad they, shit going on. They used to, if you were part of them, you had to pay, pay them like 80% of your wages from your normal day job, didn't you? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you normally only worked for a job that was owned by one of the, the higher hierarchy of the Jesus Army, I believe. Maybe wrong, not a doctor, don't sue me. But, yeah, that was, that was dodgy. It's just that it... Lots of know, cults just, around like that. Yeah, lo loads Pray of cults. on the week, don't they, about religion as well. Yes. The thing is, I'm just not too... I, like, I know you were talking about a few months back saying, like, you would like to find some form of religion or some mm -hmm. form of faith. Yeah. And this show just made me... I was like... Because they literally, like... They treat their women like shit. However, if you... That you know, you can't. They have rules like you can't hit a woman if you do, but the woman can't speak to like other members that are higher in the community. Like, say, you know, say if you was being a prick and your missus said, "Right, I'm going to go and tell this bloke about you, and he's going to come and have a word with you." That wouldn't happen. Uh. Like, if you call, if your missus called the police for I don't know domestics, they'd be like, "Yeah, calm down, love. Back inside." Back in the kitchen. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's what, yeah. Laundry. Yeah. Oh, wow. And it was about it's basically... The... No, it's not. It's not shit. No, no. I mean, for them. For that... No. A lot of people in them, them sort of... Uh, religious good. Show's good. Go and watch it. It's about, it's about a murder. And it's about a family that commit the murder because the son brought an outsider in. But the oh, out the outsider is is still from a religious background, okay. just not just not as religious as them. Mm -hmm. However, they basically say that their prophet was just some random bloke. Brian down in pub. <laughs> yeah, that sort of shit. That sort of shit. Do you know, like one person goes, "I'm God's messenger," and yeah, they all yeah. believe him. David, that Oliver. sort of shit. Yeah. yeah. It's just oh. a good show. It's a good to show. be honest, to be honest, I have no interest in watching that. To say, and no offense to you, uh, but people in that sort of that sort of subject doesn't interest me. I mean, I may, it may be on telly, and I walk in a room and it's on, and it's a good bit, and I'll sit there and watch it, and it'd be amazing. So I'm not saying it's not amazing, but initially, for me to start watching it, that's a big no on my for it's my not... personal. I've got lots of shit I need to watch, like breathtaking, before I get onto that. It's not, um, it's not for me. It's not for it's me. It's all right. Yeah. It's not for me. It's not for me, and it's up to me. It is up to you to watch it if you want, and I'm happy you enjoying it, keeping yourself happy at night, <laughs> watching Mormons fucking beat their women. Oh, that's nice. No, no. <laughs> it's good. You're not allowed to talk to that man. <laughs> but yeah. The Mormons. Do they find out, or have you not finished it yet? I've finished it, yeah. I can't tell you all of it, because you're going to go and watch it. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> it's but good. You don't know what you're missing until you watch it. What else are you watching now? What is that? Crime about? documentaries. Okay. I'm watching this uh, thing called Catching Killers, documentary on Netflix. Yeah. Oh, mate, I love a crime documentary. I didn't realise I did until I started watching them. When I had COVID the third time the other month, I um, I watched the the killing of Jill Dando on Netflix that documentary. Mm. That was good. Did you ever watch like there was three? There was there was the Night Stalker. Yeah. The John oh, Wayne Gacy. Yeah. Yeah, and then there was the Cecil Hotel one. Hotel, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the Cecil Hotel. Was the only one that I could never get my head round. 
They still don't really was... know how she got up there into that water tank. It, everything else, they got caught. You know, John Wayne Gacy yeah, yeah, got yeah. caught. Like, Ramirez fucked up but got caught. However, that one, the hotel one, just didn't make sense. Well, they, they sort of said it was haunted and it's paranormal while she got there. The, the footage of her in the lift, wasn't it? She was a bit mental, like she was talking to a ghost or she was off her tits on fucking smack or something. But you, you just it seemed to see that she come out and then she spoke to somebody or yeah. recognised someone and then you never saw her again. Yeah, but there was nothing in the lift or nothing outside of the lift. No, no. Well, so you, you, couldn't see, you couldn't see down the corridor, but you could see in the lift, yeah, she didn't come back. Yeah, you, she was talking that. to nobody. Yeah, exactly. There's no one there. I love those documentaries because I'm just like, I get so into them. But they said that just... she, she she was inside that water tank. She'd have had, she could have had access to open it, but you'd need to lock it again. And she was inside. So yeah. how the fuck did she lock it unless someone put it there? That's the thing that they don't really understand. I don't think they've ever solved it, have they? The whole place is like condemned now, isn't it? It's full on. Yeah, they they closed it last year, I think, or the end the end of the year before, twenty twenty two. But they all stay all they all stayed there though. All the dodgy stayed there. Ramirez lived there. I know he'd go he'd walk in the entrance covered in blood yeah. from his victims and mud and everything all over him and just go upstairs and probably wank off watching the Satan video or something. But they all stayed there. They all the dodgy ones stayed there. Yeah, Manson stayed it, there. It was cheap. It was like four p a night or something. That's Can how you imagine cheap it was. We had a, there was a British version of the Premier Inn that was just known <laughs> that everybody, like everybody stayed. Everything's Premier, but the price. Yeah, but you never find that one that one room for forty nine pound, there, do you? That's never. No, you never do. Never, never do. <laughs> However, you couldn't walk in the you couldn't walk in the Premier Room with you know your axe over your shoulder. <laughs> no, but he did in in the Cecil Hotel, which fucking shocks me. But it's American, so what do you expect? You know, they love a bit of crime out there. Netflix they all just blame fucked it. without America. They all just blame it on like fucking. Oh, I've been hunting, been deer hunting in the middle of LA. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear yeah definitely <laughs> oh, I do love a crime documentary though love a crime documentary they are good once you get hooked it's like, oh my god I need to solve it I did I watched three in a row I watched three in a row the other night and it, yeah this it's like a Netflix series called Catching Killers and each episode is different a different story there, were, there was one there was there was a guy that was basically it, this was like the 1960s no 1980s Olympics, and he was like going around, just leaving packages everywhere, and they were just exploding. Oh wow! And he was leaving. He was leaving them outside abortion clinics and all sorts. There was um, I watched something called The Stalker as well. Um, some about so this bloke split up with his wife, and they amicably split. They moved to they he his wife moved, and he moved to the same town just so he could take care of the kids as well. Okay. Got a job and he just thought, had a little flat, got a job and he just thought, I'll get back on the dating scene. Anyway, he went out on the dating scene, met up with this, met up with this woman, getting on really well. Everything's going well. She ends up back at his place. Nothing long term, just a, just a quick thing. Little one night thing. Anyway, a few weeks later, meets up with another bird. Goes out with this bird goes out with this bird and while this bird's back at his house the first woman rings his buzzer opens the door she said oh i left this here she sees the other woman and then next day thinks nothing of it goes to work gets text message off the new woman yeah saying who, who the fuck is that bitch like who is she knocking at your door but i see her there again like, I'm going to make your life hell. Anyway, as the days go on, the text messages from the new woman start getting darker and darker and darker <laughs> to the point where she's full on saying to him, who's that you're talking to? I'm watching you. 
and all that sort of stuff. Full on stalker oh, wow. mode from the new woman. Anyway, so, and then he says, she messages the old woman. She messages the original woman and says, oh, stay away from him. He's mine. He's not yours. Full on stalker mode. Anyway, long story short, it gets worse and worse. It gets violent. She starts smashing, smashing windows, all sorts of stuff. And then she sets fire to the first woman's house. What? Yeah. So the first woman moves in with him because she's like, I don't feel safe on my own. Long story short, this goes on for months and months. So the woman says, look, I'm going to move away. I'm going to get my own place. Yeah. The first this, I can't do it. Yeah. The first woman says, I can't deal with this anymore. I'm going to move away, get my own place. I, honestly, this is just too much. Like, it's affecting his entire life. Like, this woman's watching him at work. She's um, she's tracking him. She's like, they put she put a tracker on his car, all sorts of stuff. And then she finds out where his kids live and starts messaging the actual mother of his kids, all sorts of shit. Long story short, he, he's, he goes to the police at this point. And they start tracking. They start tracking the IP address of where everything's coming from. Tracks the IP address. Turns out it's coming from the IP address is linked to a bloke that works in the government building with them. Oh, right. Shows shows the man the picture of the woman. The the, the man that works in the government building shows him a picture of the woman they're looking for because they cannot find this woman who's like basically stalking him. And they're like, he's like, I've never seen her. I don't know who she is. He's like, well, it's coming from your IP address. Like, we need to search your home. He's like, yeah, fine. You can search my home. Yeah. Search it. Absolutely nothing. They can't find nothing. And then out of the corner of the eye, they see a photograph. And on the photograph is the first woman. Oh. Turns out the first woman that was playing all nicey-nicey was actually the psycho she actually killed the new woman and she was oh, just playing along the story did, did she nick her, her phone or something nicked her or... phone nicked her, nicked her identity everything played the stalker whilst living in his house with him now i'd watch that that sounds good that's interesting for me it's called i am stalker netflix oh, wow. it's it's an hour long but you're like no no can't be it can't be like and i was like no why is it this woman it can't, she does not even look she set fire to her own house insurance <laughs> but it's like you just don't even if it, now i've even told you the plot you're still not going to get it until you've watched it no you're still not i could yeah. tell you so much i will watch that like, and you'll go in and go, okay, this is just fucked up. Yeah, that's that that that's a bit of me, my cup of tea. There you go. Yeah, I have been watching Big Brother that came back, C Celebrity Big Brother, my favourite TV show ever. Who's in it? Reality wise, um, Sharon Osbourne, Louis Walsh, the the ginger couple from Cory. Oh God! Um, some social media black girl woman, uh, a Broadway singer. Who else is on it? Oh, something Gary, somebody who's something to do with the royal family or something like related or knows someone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, some some bloke from I B for Weekender. And he's he's gay. He's very much over the top, and he coming in his pants. And it's like, right. oh, okay. To okay. be fair, I watched I watched the first episode. I didn't see yesterday's or tonight's. Um, it may I may carry on watching it, but I can. There's going to be a fine line where I think mm, this is shit. Because normally, Big Brother, Celebrity Big Brother is my, I fucking love that more than Jungle. But the people in this series are just the Shit. people of, of the generation that we see on telly that is just not interesting. 
I mean, they picked the most boring person from Corey to go on it. Yeah. And Sharon Osbourne looks like a little alien. Like it's kind of like all of them. Though. They've all they've all got terrible. Louis all Walsh looks like a woman. Louis Walsh from X Factor. It looks like a fucking woman. He doesn't. It's like he doesn't know what's going on in the world. The the, the episode I saw, the first one. And They're I'm all like, ancient. They are. They him and Sharon are really old. Well, not really old, but you know, like late fifties, sixties. Sharon's, getting, Sharon Sharon's must getting on. She, she she looked good for her age, but I'm saying she looked very small. I thought she's she very quite, skinny, isn't she? Yeah, very little. Yeah, she's yeah. really small, skinny. She's five foot maximum, I'd say. But yeah, it's. Uh, I was so excited for it to come back, and then I thought, fuck now. The, the two people that host it, I've never heard of them. Where's Davina? Where's Rylan? Where have all they gone? Where's Emma Willis? Fucking Emma Willis took over Davina. Gone. You know. Bigger, better things. You know, if you're going to pay for it, get the fucking best people in it. But Didn't Davina say she would do it, though? She said she would do it. I don't she know. just was never asked. Emma Willis did it for many years, didn't she? When it left Channel 4 and went to... Where did it go after Channel 4? Or did it stay on Channel 4? It stayed on Channel 4, didn't it? Did it? This is ITV, so... I hmm. don't know. But like I say... No, it went, it went to 5. It went to 5. 5, oh, that's it, yeah. And Emma Willis did it, yeah, yeah for all them years. Yeah. That was brilliant on that. They, it, I think it improved when she did it. But The problem is all the celebrities have always been shit. Some are good. Like, not... I would say not 10 years ago they weren't shit. They got big people in. But then, if you look at um, the jungle now, you recognise like one or two people. Yeah, and you get to know them while you watch the show. And that's how you think, oh, they're all right. But beforehand, you think, who the fuck is that? Yeah. I know, but still. No, no, I'm just saying. It should be the best of the best. I mean, I was shocked when Sharon Osbourne was announced. Well, I looked on the day before, on Sunday. But I did see that she's only in for five days, though. Yeah, she's Big Brother's lodger. And then Louis was, like, the first person in, but nobody knew about it. The other guests didn't know, and them two had to pick three people they didn't really like to be up for eviction. <laughs> so they were hidden in a room, watching through the window, and they were both like, I don't know who they are. I don't know. That. Oh, Fern Britain's in it as well. So it's... See what I mean? Bottom of the barrel shit. Yeah. I'll, tell, I'll tell you what I have been. This whole royal conspiracy is driving me nuts. What about everybody being ill? Well, yeah. With like, Kate, what is... Charles. Oh, the fact they've cancelled everything for the foreseeable future. So he's ill. Yeah, we'll King Charles is yeah. sadly, sadly ill. Kate's obviously had... A procedure done. They reckon they're leaning more towards a hy hysterectomy. And they say about stomach, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. And then they're like, no, she had a tummy tuck. And then they're like, no, Williams left her. And then they're like, Fuck it you know, where's she gone? They're hiding her. And then they're like, because obviously a couple of weeks ago, one of the royals' descendants, he killed himself, didn't he? He shot him. There was some, what, one. There was a royal. This I can't remember his name. Andrew something. Um. He shot himself, but they didn't disclose that he shot himself. They said he, he died of sufficient head injury, and a <laughs> firearm was found next to him <laughs> from a shotgun. Boom. Don't know how he so, did it though. Really, fucking idiots. So yeah, so he died, and then obviously they've cancelled everything. And it's like, and then obviously Edward stepped away from royal duties now, and everyone's going, "Are they trying to bunker down because of you know World War Three? That's one of the conspiracies. Are they hiding Kate? No, Have they?" And I'm like, "Mate, what's, why? Why are people bothered so much? Seriously, why are you bothered?" <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they like these ones. <laughs> I, I don't get me wrong. I like them, but I'm not. I'm not going to be going. I'm not going to be writing my little stories on the internet going, yeah, they've hid her because she bought too much food shopping. At Asda or Waitrose. Maybe Waitrose. And then, it? obviously, government's kicking off. We don't discuss politics, but 
government's kicking off. George Galloway is back. What are we? Two thousand and two again. Yeah, George Galloway's back. He Fucking he's been he was, Labour, isn't it? He was. He was sworn in. He was sworn into Parliament yesterday. I remember for Labour. Him, him being on Celebrity Big, Big Brother, Brother, trying to be prancing out like a cat, licking someone's yeah. feet. I can't remember which woman it was. Let us know. Oh, the they comments. should. They should pull that up. They should pull that up in Parliament. And be like. Oh, so this guy's back. <laughs> Just be like, these are his finest moments. I bet they went meow. So yeah, so the, what All was right. it? The local elect? Not what? What they just had? Not the local elections. Not it the was general by elections, elections, wasn't there? Recent last week, ele- by elections. I never got That's a card what... to vote in them. I don't know what what that means. So George George Galloway got voted in as MP of I want to say Rochdale. It's probably mm. not Rochdale, but it is North. Rotherham. No, it's not Rotherham. So anyway, he got he got voted in. Okay. Richie Soon Richie Sunak did a press announcement about it, saying because obviously their views because there was that guy that said about there was the guy that was kicked off. He was kicked off the panel for his for his comments. Yeah, it's just I, I, politics, man. It's all going on. Yeah, we can't talk about certain things. We don't. We don't do politics. That's it. End of story. All right. Cut. Deuces on politics. Finito. Fuck off. Por favor. <laughs> Fafangula, putane. But then you wouldn't know any of this was happening because Facebook and Instagram went down. They fucking oh. logged me out my Facebook. It's like, what the fuck? I didn't. I didn't get logged out. Oh, I did. And then it wouldn't log. It just went to a blank screen. And I'm like, I'm, on a, I'm one of the chosen ones. I'm one of the chosen ones, mate. I can't help it. That's because you're Boris's little friend. Listen, I go, I go Bohemian <laughs> Grove every year. Bohemian Grove once a year with the top dogs. We love the owls. Okay. No, is that it? That's the Illuminati. And then the, the Satanists do that way, don't they? <laughs> you see all the celebrities at award ceremonies and the Oscars and they're all doing that. Like Rihanna and that. And they're all saying, oh, they're fucking Satanists. <laughs> do you know why they do it, though? I think they do that because they play up to people. Because it is. They cause a fucking scene and people talk about it and write exactly the stories that we're mentioning. <laughs> like, going to do this and that's it. Or... People love the Illuminati shit, don't they? What was they that? That fucking shit that everyone was doing that the other last year. Yeah, what was that? Wasn't that the Dilly Alley thing? <laughs> well, that was the, that was the two, the, the double one. Yeah, I can't do but it. No, but no, lo- loads. You get you used to get their memes, didn't you, on Facebook? Where you driving down the road and then suddenly you will see someone going eh, or whatever with the old fingers and rabbit ears. Yes, yeah, <laughs> crips, <laughs> crips of the bloods. Yeah, Gangs they used to, I've seen. They used to be able to write blood, bloods from their fingers. How did they do it? They used to do it like, yeah. They used to, they used to write the word bloods from their fingers. I can't remember how they did it. I don't know. Don't know. We'd be shit in a gang anyway. <laughs> We'd be like this. <laughs> <laughs> Just shoot them. Finish him off. What gang are you in? This one. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Yeah, people love all that Illuminati bollocks. It's like just crack up. like they talk about Boss the Frozen Wall where basically all you know, all the A listers they go behind it and they go on to live an external uh, eternal life. From flat earth you mean the Antarctic around the outside, the flat wall. Yeah, that bit. And behind yeah. it is an, is like utopia and all that. I've seen there's other civilizations behind the wall. Yeah, right. Have they got a waitrose though? Just saying. Probably not. What have they got? Have they got films that we haven't seen yet, but we thought we, we thought of? Well, we'll find out because they're the people that are over the wall. They're probably making their own films. So maybe you never know, Niall. I oh, know, but can you imagine? Like they went over to the other wall and it was the exact same. It's like For rainy sake. it's like rainy Britain on the other side. It's like <laughs> seriously, I just I just did did this for this. 
they've still got their own version of Coronation Street, and it's still as shit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Parallel they still universe. eat. The, they still eat things like corned beef ash. Yeah, I, I read something about um, Parallel Universe. You know when people say that you get a glitch in the Matrix and you see some a picture on a train and there's people, two people exactly the same looking, clothing, face, everything. What? So, What's that called? Do you know, say there's, there's somebody out there. It's called a doppelganger, isn't it? Doppelganger, yeah. Doppelganger. If somebody else is out there living your life who looks exactly like you. I don't know about living your life, but looks like you. It's, it's what it is. Like your lookalike, basically. I, 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 I have a picture of mine, which is fucking funny. Let's see it. Let's I, see I, your I, doppelganger. I, hopefully I can find it because it is it is me, really. When I looked at it, I thought, fuck, is that me? I lost a bit of weight, but so I was seeing the TikTok the other day, and I was just like, "Mickey, I'd love to do this. I'd love to do this." So it was there was a guy sat on a bench, and he basically did it as an experiment. He basically put on like a World War U, World War Two uniform, right? Like America, this is all in America. American soldiers, World War Two uniform, went and sat on a park bench, just sat there, and he was just basically sat there looking into space. Anyway. Some bloke sat down next to him and was like, You are, right, mate. And he said it. Yeah. And he just said it. He said it again. He went, You are, right, mate. And the and the guy in the World War II uniform turned around and went, Wait, you can see me. Oh, I was about to say that. And he was going, What? He's going, Can you actually see me? <laughs> I'd love to just fucking went, do that. And the guy was like, Yeah. And he's like, "Oh my god, I've been sat." He's, he's like, "I've been sat here for years. No one has ever spoke to me." And the guy is literally, totally oblivious. And he's like, "What's going on? Like, I can see you. You're right there." And he's like, "No one can ever see me." He's like, "This is the bench I always sit at." And he gives this this elaborate story about why he sits on this bench. Anyway, the bloke's well, like, the bloke's. The bloke's doing this with his eyes. He's doing like, he's looking like this. He's going like, anyway, the, he does that, looks away. The bloke gets up and walks off and then he, he's gone. And the guy is looking around from him and he's just, he, the guy's bugging out. Wow. Yeah, that, that is something I would, we would, well, we, we could do that. We could film that. We could do a sketch on that. Fuck yeah. That's fucking funny. But yeah, I do see quite a lot of them, but it's normally just in, like them writing me and saying if next time someone, when you're walking on your own and someone comes and asks you a question, you say, wait, you can see me? <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, that is definitely something that we should be doing. We should go Absolutely. out and play, play with the public. You can dress up. <laughs> no, no one can put his uniform on. Which one? I've got a lot. Yeah, I've got a police uniform. Don't think Fireman's going to cut it. They ain't going to believe that. It's, it's like that advert on telly for... I can't remember who it's for. And he's dressed up in a World War uniform, like a, an army uniform. He's, he's and, the poppy and, thing. And he's and, sat on the monument. And he walks around talking to people and people just ignore yeah, him. Yeah, ignoring him, yeah. They don't really understand what he's... Or he doesn't understand society and that. It's quite sad. Sorry, guys. We're just looking for this doppelanger, doppelganger. Doppel you fucking banger. will. You went. If I ever find double ended, it, double ended, double ended gangbanger. I don't know. Find it because you know when you when you're not looking for it, you fucking always find it on your photos. You go, oh yeah, there's me. But then when you do look for it, you just, no fucking. Way. Okay, you're gonna find it in five, four, three, two, one, now. No, that's me. <laughs> you look like you look like the guy from a uh, Toy Story too. <laughs> Thought so. Do you know the guy that st you know the guy that steals Woody? <laughs> Got the little weird, weird ginger man. No, no. In fact, you look more like Rafa Benitez there. <laughs> when I shaved my head, people used to call me that. It was uh, Walter White from Breaking Bad. 
Rafa. Or, <laughs> yeah, or it was uh, who you just said. And it's like, fuck off. I, fuck I was, off. I was called every bald person's name in any show, any TV series, any film. Oh, the bald Bruce one. Willis. That's you. Yeah, Bruce Willis. Oh, guys. Mickey's still looking. We'll get there eventually. A few okay. moments later. <laughs> Two hours later. Tomorrow, for sure. I thought I'd go a quick way and try and find it. Because I'm sure he sent me a friend request. It's like the Titanic. It's been 83 years. <laughs> yeah. Since the last saw it. Do you ever get these weird friend requests from people on Facebook? No. I get so many Don't. people that it's, it's quite clearly not these people. You shouldn't accept them. I don't accept them, I'm just saying. I've got like 217 friend requests in Facebook that I just don't reply to. All right, Mr. Popular. Fucking hell. And re recently, I've had probably about 12 this week and i'm like i don't know you why are you sending me messages why are you sending you know, i think it's... social media now is just it's not about friend requests is it like if you numbers. if you're on these it's all about fucking if, numbers if you're on these platforms social you know especially facebook especially twitter no not not so much twitter probably facebook and instagram you've more than likely got everybody that you know or care to have share your share your media with exactly like there's no there's no new friend requests out there do you know what i mean <laughs> like these aren't these are not people you should be accepting there's no new friends that we've made and brought to your universe just to stick in there no that is not happening but we get it this guy looks like him <laughs> so you know what We'll get it for next week. You're officially been beat. You've been beat. I've got 11,500 photos and videos on my phone. So. I know quite a lot to And I know it's a, within a couple of years, but I do go a lot of places and I take a lot of photos, unfortunately. And that's fucking annoying. But yeah, that will be for next week, guys. We may have a guest next week as well. His Hopefully. name might be. Duh, duh, duh. It might be if I can fucking find him. <laughs> but yeah. So first guest of the hundred and two, the, the hundred files, as we'll call them. The hundred files. That's what we're going with, people. That's all we've got in the tank. Yeah, the hundred news, files. The live episode went really well, viewer-wise for YouTube anyway. What was it? Something like 22,000 for the first hour? Of course it was. Thanks, people. We appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think the interaction was, was pretty good. Like, I think maybe we could do a few more of those in the future. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It, it definitely... Maybe, maybe not. It doesn't really affect the uh, the the podcast platforms because obviously they can't watch it live or listen live, as it were. But no, but still, YouTube, it's good. But but with YouTube interacting, and having some questions as we go along, and um, yeah, I know still waiting a lot. for our YouTube plaque. Still waiting for it. Our hundred thousand subscribers. It's on its way, apparently. Yeah, it's in the post. Got fucking lost. But yeah, that is um, definitely something I think we should do in the future. That's working really well, I think. Cool. But... Come on, Mickey, what you got for me? What you got for me on your list? The the last thing I have, I was driving around today. And you know you get the little crossing bits on the roads, just the little like side streets and that. There was two, hmm. two college, I would, I'll go with college girls. They had like rock sacks and they had like lanyards on. So I presume they were either like sick for more or something like that. Well, they were, they were waiting to cross the road and um, some bloke was going towards them, crossing from the other side. 
in a wheelchair. Yeah. And they didn't fucking move out of the way. So he was like on the road, stopped on the road while they were waiting to cross. And it's like, move out the fucking way. He's in a fucking wheelchair. And I'm like, wow. Dickheads. Dickheads. These, these sort of fucking, the, this is the youth that's going to be our bosses at some point. Oh, no. Well, it's the, these are the ones sorting out our pensions credits. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Fucking couldn't run a bar for these people. And also, something so, else. That, go on, because I've got something too. Something that fucking pissed me off. I was driving past Tesco. You know when you wait on crossings for fucking people to walk across? Again, lanyard boys this time. They weren't girls. I I could have gone. I thought, no, well, stop. Wait and let them cross. And, uh, no. Didn't even fucking thank me. The bastards. I could have fucking run them now. Run them over, man. That's just, that's one of the worst things. Respect for me. You can you can do whatever, oh. steal anything, whatever. But if you are disrespectful to your family, to adults, to people, for no reason, or just fucking rude, you're that, a cunt. You're a cunt. I don't like that. You know, that's that's the thing. My kids would would you're always. Still a cunt. My my kids would be fucking bollocks so much more for back chatting, not respecting people, etc., in public or family and that, than than doing stupid shit. Ill man, ill man, and, and they're not. But the problem is they're not just kids. So no, today no, I kids. I went and did a tip run today, local recycling centre, and basically there's a rule the recycling centre, right? There's two oh, lanes in. Please. Oh, I told you it all happens at the tip. No, I love fucking the tip. telling. I'm always there. I, I, I'm, I never put my bins out, so I always do a tip run. So anyway, <clears throat> did a tip run. There's a rule. There's two lanes at the tip. All right? Yeah, yeah. Use both two. lanes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use both lanes and basically one in, one in, one in, one in. Not one and then two cars. It's one and one. Yeah. Anyway, I'm in, I'm in the queue. There's an old boy in front of me. And I could tell he was an old boy because he was in a little car driving really slow. Anyway, it got to him and then some young bloke in a van. Literally, some young bloke in a van. And this this car, the car went, the van, the car went, and then this other car went. And then the old boy started to move, and then the van started to move. Okay, but it merges into one lane to get around the corner so you can drop your shit. Yeah. Anyway. As the old boy starts to move, the young bloke in the van starts to move at the same time. And the the young the old boy's moving, moving in closer to merge into the one lane. Yeah. Anyway, the van's going and going and going to try and beat him. I'm like, you can't get anywhere. It's a wall. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, he starts going and going and getting closer and closer to the old boy in the in the car. And I can see the old boy because he's face like he's side onto me now. So I'm forward and he's side. I could see his face and he was like getting quite panicky yeah. and this van driver just started getting closer and closer as if to say i'm gonna try and overtake you but i'll more than likely scrape my entire van along the wall so i literally just sat on my horn just pressed the horn and sat on it just sat until the till the young bloke in the van turned around looked at me and i just i did the whole verbal fuck you leave them alone fuck off <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> And then the bloke in the van was like, the bloke in the van was like, what, what? I'm like, you can fucking see what you're doing. <laughs> and yeah, I fucking, mate. And anyway, got round, the old van, the old boy popped out and I pulled into the bay next to him. Oh, and you're all right, mate. He went, yeah, I'm fine. He went, some people just can't be patient. Anyway, as I finished, the guy that was in the van wanted my spot. So for me to go out and get out of the tip, he wanted my spot. He was waiting. I just yeah. sat there. So I fucking sat there on my phone for like five minutes. I thought, no. mate, you're a wanker. No, that's fucking fair play. I fucking so can't some, people. Like I say, some, some people need to fucking learn. And do they ever learn the lesson? Who knows? You fucking do you know what? Just days. fuck them. No, we'll you. get somebody in a minute. We'll get we'll get somebody in a minute saying you shouldn't say that. 
shouldn't say that. She's probably on. She's probably on sweeties for weddings. <laughs> Get yeah. a grip. <laughs> Yes, people, you need to go watch our little clips, our reels, our TikToks on Instagram and TikTok. They are flying out at the moment, numbers really well. So thank you for everybody that's following us. TikTok better than Instagram. So people, you need to go check that out. Dad's Lads Kebabs on Instagram, on every every uh, social media platform. Media. Every major, every major social media platform. And we would like to say... Thank you for joining us on tonight's show. We thoroughly hope you've enjoyed yourselves and you will leave us feeling much better about crime dramas, crime documentaries and the general cancer of life. Yes. Thank you. Our hearts are with you and we will say a fond farewell and deuces and fuck off. <laughs> Bye all. I'll see you in a bit. I'm going for a shit. <laughs> <laughs>